hamburger has a number of ingredients. You've got the bun, you've got the meat, you've got the lettuce, the tomato, and maybe some cheese. Put all of that together and you are looking at a complicated product. Those ingredients may have been produced in different countries and to different sets of legislation. C'est devenu un produit très mode, mais c'est un produit qui est extrêmement sensible parce que dedans on parle de végétaux, donc qui sont à risque parce qu'il y a de la terre, donc il y a beaucoup de contamination. On a une sauce froide à base d'œufs, souvent type mayonnaise, pareil, risque important de contamination ou de prolifération. Et on a de la viande hachée. Ouh là là, danger même. Food safety is not something that I think obsessively when I'm buying food. As a family, we need to be aware of the food safety issues, especially when you have a child. The fact that a hamburger, for example, it's, it's filled with different ingredients uh, coming perhaps from all over the world is not a concern to me at all. Lettuce, don't think it needs much of processing. They just grow, they buy fresh lettuce and I hope they washed it properly. The way they were washed and the water that they were washed with as well, I think it's very important because in some countries they don't have um, clean water. Este, tenemos, empieza desde el proceso de la certificación del rancho, de las buenas prácticas de manufactura y las buenas prácticas de agricultura. Después este, se empiezan a hacer muestreos, como vimos, de tanto el agua, este, que no tengamos ninguna contaminación. Se hacen análisis de De, para detectar si había algún problema de un, algún patógeno. When it comes to the cooking of the meat, that is exactly when you really have to trust the professionals. I know that there are some temperatures that need to be followed. I think generally cooking it thoroughly probably get rid of some bacteria. When it comes to cooking the burger, if we're, I'm taking the, the plastic films off, we'll use gloves. And then to put them on the stove, um, we use red tongs for raw meat. Once it's been cooked on both sides, we then use a yellow tong, which is cooked meat. Technically, you should cook it above 74 degrees. That means that all bacteria are dead. It's been held there for two minutes, so it's definitely cooked and there's nothing, no nasties inside. We, we trust the, the industry or we trust the governments to to have those standards in place. I believe they do exist, but whether they are strong enough, uh, this is something probably to rely on the governments for. They should play a role in making sure that the regulation they made is followed, but I don't think they can control every single individual who are working in the kitchen. For everyone involved in the food chain, there is an international framework of legislation that provides the foundation of what happens. The risk factors need to be well understood and managed. So we're looking at animal health, we're looking at personal hygiene, we're looking at factory hygiene. All of these risks need to be considered in an appropriate manner for each ingredient, so that when you put your hamburger together in whatever market it may be, it will be safe. person that I purchase it from, so it could be the restaurant owners, if I'm eating at a restaurant, because they are the people that I pay the money to. I expect them to have used their standards to make sure they deliver that final product to me in the right state. I think the government got the, uh, the, most, the biggest uh, responsibility because they, it's the government that allows this food to get into this country before it gets distributed to every retail before it, it comes to us. You can't put the blame or, or point the finger at the government, the industry, whatever. It, it, it's down to us, the customer. No one company or government can ensure food safety alone. The most important thing to have in mind is that it's only through a collaborative approach that we can make things happen. The responsibility for delivering the hamburger safely 
is for every person along the supply chain from farm to fork.